Well, Maleva of Bulgaria, and it would take place in this part of the draw. Chris Everett, who is favored to advance, would play the winner here. And let's bring in Barry McKay right now, who's with me, and get an update on the Maleva-Fernandez match on Court 16. Good match going on, Brent. Maleva won the first set 6-2 and then got killed in the second set 6-love by young Mary Jo Fernandez. This is really a tight contest out here. Fernandez serving. It's 3-4. On serve here in the third set. This is Mary Jo Fernandez from Miami, born in the Dominican Republic. Great forehand up the line. Manuela Maleva, seated number 10th from Sofia, Bulgaria, has beaten Chris Everett, Sukova, and Manlikova. She's tough. Great athletic talent bred down in the Dominican. We had at least a half a dozen baseball players in the All-Star game, and I know that their team from the Little League Champions went all the way to the World Series last week over in Williamsport. Now, Chris Everett has won the first set. Actually, she shut out the young Soviet player. For Ava. And remember that Chris would advance and play the winner of this match next. So that's why we're focusing on this activity on court 16. Mary Jo in trouble now. Down love 30. A lot of pressure on the youngster. Oh, it's tough. Maleva is not going to come to net. We all know that. She's a great baseliner. And she will bother Fernandez if Mary Jo likes to come in on bad shots like that last one. Maleva's sister, Katarina Maleva, will be taking on Zena Garrison right here on court 16 after this match. Mary Jo, the youngest player to ever play in the U.S. Open. serve. Totally different atmosphere out here in 16, Brent. You can see there's no seats behind the court, which is a good background. Players like this court. Oh. Talk about a hot Dominican. That was a, looked like a strike right down the sideline. Juan Marichal would have been proud of that one. She's got a chance to get back to Deuce. 30-40. Oh, she goes for the winner. Misses, hits the tape. And so Maleva, one game away from pulling this match out. A lot of Mary Jo rooters in the fans out here on Court 16. I think there's a lot of United States rooters out here, <laughs> period. Trying to drop shot from the baseline. Dangerous shot there. drops back on Fernandez's side. Right here, the experience will tell, Brent, because Maleva has been in situations like this a lot more often than Mary Jo Fernandez. All right, does uh, Bulgaria have the sort of tennis program that they have in Czechoslovakia? I don't think it's quite as good as Czechoslovakia. Those guys have really put it together. Trying a little too much on that forehand. You 
you've got a player like Maleva, though, who hits the ball back so often, and there's a tendency to overhit just slightly, try and make the shot from the backcourt. Got to Mary Jo. She was up 3 1 in this set after shutting Maleva out in the second set, and she hasn't been able to, to win a game since. She's got to be thinking about that right now. You come back and win a set six love, your confidence level goes way up. And then she had a chance to pull a major upset out here on 16. Brent, they start the game very early, and you really don't have enough strength at ages four, five, and six. Believe it or not, Mary Jo Fernandez started playing tennis at age three. So you barely can hold the racket, let alone come to net and try and volley. So I think a lot of the young women players start from the baseline, and they get so good at it that they stay back there. It's so difficult when they take on someone like Martina, Oof. who's all over the court. Court seat, three sets, six three in the third set. So Maleva could be taking on Chris Everett next as we check in on that draw. This is the quarter, and it would look this way. And when we continue with our live coverage here, we'll go out to the stadium with Pat Summerall, and we'll see how Chris Everett is making out against the young star from the Soviet Union. That's coming up.